Hi everybody, it's Dina, and I'm back with another video. Okay, I haven't been on for a week, and I apologize. I hate when that happens so much, and I really don't have an excuse. Let me just see. I can't tell what I look like, but I just ran in the house. It's windy out, so excuse my appearance. Um, but I want to jump on. Today is Saturday, the... 25th of September. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Um, 2021. So I'm here to show you my finished bag o day um, cowl that I made and my finished sweater. Um, I was working on them at the same time. And I also started the Darla sweater that I told you guys about in another video. And that I barely you know, I just got like three rows done because I I was going back and forth getting nowhere and I had nothing to show you guys. So I wanted to have something to show you. So I finished these up. Um, so first I'm gonna show you the sweater that Gloria is wearing. Um, I love the way it turned out. Um, I made it a little longer and the sleeves, wait, do I have this inside out? No, the sleeves, um, not as wide, even though I thought I was making them as wide, but it turned out really nice. So if this is the um, Stitch Please sweater, it's used with it's it's used with the Stitch Please yarn by um, Premier, and it's called the Half Double Crochet Ribbed Pullover. It's a free pattern on Premier. I will link it down below. They use the um, Stitch Please 100% um, wool yarn um, and a five and a half millimeter hook. I used this ice yarn that I showed you guys in another video. This is, let's see what it's called, Jeans Wool. And it is 50% um, wool, 50% premium acrylic, and it's a size four. Oh, lordy, lordy, can't tell. Hold on, gotta get my magnifying glass. I don't know if I have it in there. Yeah, it's a four. It's a four, sorry. Um, so I really, really enjoy this yarn. You could definitely feel the wool, but it's not scratchy. It's just not super, super soft. And it's on the thinner size four. Um, but I love the way the colors transition. That's my favorite part. Isn't that beautiful? You know, it's just the way it works up. Now, let, oh, how many, how many, you get 210 meters and 100 grams um, per ball. So that's like 250 maybe yards um, a ball. And I used one, two, three, four, five, six, probably five and a half, because I have this left from my last ball that I used. So five and a half. Um, balls of the jeans wool from ice yarn and I would recommend this yarn I definitely would especially for a wearable because it, it it's a little it's a light four so it works up really nicely for a wearable and I just my favorite part is just the color transitions I think it's so pretty and isn't this just so perfect for fall I'm actually I did not plan this but look at this I match this this would look pretty under it if it, if it was colder out and I didn't want short sleeves Look at that, I match. Um, so yes, highly recommend the pattern. I, though I did find parts of the pattern confusing. Um, and I, and I the, the neck part, I feel like the instructions, I feel like something was missing on the instructions, but it's probably me. So if any of you do work on this, please email me and let me know if you have any problems with it. Um, I don't want to read the part of the pattern because I don't know. 
I just don't feel right. Well, actually, no, wait, what am I talking about? It's a free pattern. Okay, so it's it just says neck with right side facing joint join yarn at neck edge. Work half double crochet rib pattern for six inches along neck edge. Fasten off. So remaining shoulder seam. So neck seam. So side and sleeve seams. Weave in ends and block. That's all, there's no other part. There's no other part whatsoever. Um, so it, it's just strange because pattern, which is the half double crochet in the third loop, um, is the pattern for six inches along neck edge. But it's not saying to go in the round, so it's saying to go back and forth because even on the notes it says that the neck is worked flat. But it's not saying to do it on both front and back. And is it saying six inches along the edge or along the edge go six inches up? So I just went along the edge and I went a little less than six inches up because I didn't want it. It comes to about here on me, which is what I wanted. So I thought that was strange. But other than that, it was very easy to follow. Really nice pattern. Um, very, very easy. And I love the ribs. It did really bring you closer. See how nice the ribs turned out? Really nice. Super, super nice. And then the shoulders. So pretty. Really like it. Very happy. Really like the yarn. So I recommend this yarn. And it, all, it came in different colorways. So I'd imagine it would work up so pretty in all those different colorways. Okay, so that's done. Okay, the next thing is my crystal, my bag o' day weekly pattern. So I might be a little bit off, but it was, if you remember, this gorgeous cow Eric is modeling, sorry about the glare. Um, and this is just called the Dapper Outdoorsman. <laughs> um, the Dapper Outdoorsman. And it is, she used Lion Brand Ferris wheel yarn and a five and a half millimeter hook. Oh, by the way, I used a five millimeter hook for this and they, they suggested a five and a half, but um, I wanted it to be not quite as boxy. So it, you know, it worked out well for me. Um, okay. Super easy pattern, really loved it. I think it turned out beautiful. I used the, um, I hope I saved, I probably didn't. I used the Ogo, um, the new Caron Ogo yarn, and this is all I have left. And this was called, I think, um, Cracked Pepper or Salt and Pepper, something like that. That was the colorway. I did not save the ball band. Apologize. Um, and this is how it turned out. Isn't that pretty? I love the way the colors worked up. I really like that a lot. I think they worked up really pretty. I love the color combination. It's a little big on me. Um, I It fits my husband nicely, but he wouldn't let me take a picture. But um, it's really pretty and squishy. My son's probably gonna wear it when he goes to football games. He went to one last night. It's not quite cold enough, but it gets really cold. He goes to his high school football games and he'll probably wear this under his black coat. It's really nice. Love it, highly recommend it. Easy to customize. Um, if you wanna make it more drapey, use a lighter weight yarn um, or a bigger hook. Um, if you wanna make it shorter, there's so many things you can do but I just follow the directions perfectly and love it, love it, love it, love it. Super simple and a very quick make. So yet another crystal pattern that I highly recommend. I doubt there's gonna be any I don't, but if I don't, or if it's not as easy, I would tell you, but this was really fun and easy. I liked this one a lot. <clears throat> so those are my two finished objects. Um, let's see, let me put this over there. Okay, 
the last thing I want to share with you guys is I got happy mail today and I was so blown away. Um, I went to my mailbox and I didn't get mail for a day. I came to my house um, and I was just blown, blown away. So I'm going to pause you guys for one sec. Okay. Sorry. I just wanted to double check about something. Okay. So I got happy mail from a very loyal subscriber and she has been sending happy mail I think throughout the year to so many podcasters and I wanted to make sure that she didn't have a channel or anything um she does have a YouTube channel but she doesn't have content um she said she doesn't have a store or anything she just likes sending treats to her favorite podcasters um this is Doris Wright from um Rose Cottage Studio uh, and she just does it because she crochets all day and she loves watching us. Well, Doris, thank you so much. Um, I can't tell you, it's it's such a great feeling going to the mailbox and getting an unexpected treat. It's, it's just so, it's so heartwarming and fun. So let me show you what she got me. I did, I did dive in because I order so much stuff that sometimes I forget if I ordered something and the name Rose Cottage Studio and I knew who she was and I'm like well maybe I ordered something maybe she has a store but no I emailed her um but she sent this beautiful note card I think that is so pretty and she said this crochet card is for your use enjoy the yarn um this is the coolest card one of you will end up getting it it just says crocheting forever isn't that cute just a blank note card I love it Oh, that's so great. I wonder where you got it. And then I got Honeybush Mandarin and Orange Tea and Lemon Delight. And I love Mandarin Orange Tea. She did not know that, but I do love that in the morning. So thank you for the tea. And I really love this card. Put it. Okay. So, I love this yarn. Now, I don't, um, I love, I don't know how to say it. Everyone says something different. I say sheepies or sheep, whatever. I say sheepies because it's easier. But she sent me um, all this. Can you believe it? And I will take it out to show you. Oh, it's super, super soft. It's sheepies, or you guys know what I'm talking about. Um, Color Crafter. It is 100 gram balls, 100% premium acrylic, and it is. Uh, the color is 1099 Vega, and I'm trying to see if it has. I don't see the weight. Oh, it might be a four. I don't know if you guys can see that. Focusing, of course. Come on. I think that's, it's a four. Oh, my son's calling, hang on. Sorry, my son called. Okay, so that's this it is super super soft and i love this color gray so i got two of those let's see this color is uh number 2018 and it's polar oh i can't believe this is so incredibly soft for acrylic, it is so soft. Oh, I'm really excited to work with this. And I just wanna see if this is the same color, it's hard to tell. Yes, so I got two of the gray, the lighter gray, and six of the charcoal gray. Now, this is going to make a beautiful combination. I could just see this in edging or like a, 
like predominantly this with a stripe of this every now and then. I think that would look really pretty. And I have an idea of what I'm going to make with it, I think. But isn't that pretty? Oh, and it's so soft. So if you guys haven't tried this, Sheepy's Color Crafter. Super, super soft. Really like it a lot. i to put this down. I have so much cleaning up to do in this yarn room. It's, it's embarrassing. Good thing you don't see it. So Doris, thank you so much. And I know it means a lot to me and I know it means a lot to all the podcasters that you send treats to. Um, supporting, you never have to send anything, just subscribing, watching my videos, liking them and commenting is, it means so much to me. But of course, everybody loves getting surprises and treats. So thank you so much. That means just so much to me. Um, and I wanna show you guys what I will be making next with for my bag o day of the week. So I thought I would do something fall related. Oh, uh, can you see? I can't tell if it's like dark, too dark, but it is called. Crochet Fall Aut Autumn Harvest Indian Corn. Um, and she used um, Lion Brand Hometown USA Chunky Yarn for each cob, and then Karen Simply Soft for the husks. Um, so I'm going to use these three colors. This, I don't know if it's chunky enough, and I, and I don't know if, if the um, texture is going to make it bad, but I don't think it will. Um, this I had gotten on clearance. This is really soft. I have a bunch of these, but I thought these colors would look good as one of those corns, um, you know, as a little set. And I thought I could hang it on a wreath that I'm going to put on my front door. So um, it says it's easy. So I'm going to start that and show you that. And I thought if you guys want to make some kind of decoration for your house or as a gift to give to somebody, if you're going to their house for Thanksgiving, um, this might be great. The pattern's very inexpensive. I think it's $2.59. Um, I did get her um, flash drive, but I don't think this is on it, but I got, I just purchased this pattern. Um, it, it, I don't remember what it was. It was no more than $2.50, $2.50, I don't think. So I will work on it now and I will show you when I'm done, of course, and let you know what I think about it. And then I'm just gonna use, um, oh, where did it go? I don't know where it went. I have a word. I'm gonna use this for the husk. This is just, um, stork struck naked baby bee um in the color oh naked is the color hmm. so i'm just going to use that because it's just a hair different than that so i think it'll look okay so that's what i'm going to do or i might replace this with a blue if i could find it i don't have a blue in this but i might replace it with a different blue if i can find it if not then I'm just gonna do those three. So that's what I'm gonna do. Um, and I will put a link to that pattern uh, down below in case you guys wanna join me in making it. Um, just printing it right now. I have to print my patterns. I don't like, my computer always like goes into shut off mode. I'm always having to tap it and I have to re-sign in. It's such a pain. So I always print my patterns, which is what I'm doing now. Um, so yeah, this is, my way, in case you guys don't watch my other videos, of supporting Crystal um, from Bag o Day for supporting her and everything she does for our yarn community. I absolutely love watching her bod life videos. I feel like get, we're getting to know her so much more on a personal level and she's just so sweet. She's funny. Um, I just really enjoy that and you know, I just feel like she has everything. There's nothing I could really send her. So how can I show my support? And I figured if I buy a pattern a week 
and then not only buying the pattern and supporting her, but letting everybody know about her patterns. I know you all know about her, but there might be something that she has that, you know, sparks an interest in you that you didn't know was out there because she has so many patterns. So that's why you'll be seeing me do one pattern a week from Bag O'Day. Okay, so that's it for this video. Um, sorry I haven't been on for a week and I will hopefully finish the corn fairly soon so I can jump back on and show you that. And then I'm working on Darla's sweater from Crafty Yarn Owl. I will also link the video to her tutorial down below. Okay, everyone, I hope you guys are doing great and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.